Hello Red User. Today I would like to share with you how to edit uh, quick and dirty red raw files on Notebook and Adobe CS6. So here we have a PC with Adobe CS6 and here we have a Macintosh with the same software. So let's begin the test. This Macintosh is uh, an old Macintosh, it's, uh, it was the best Macintosh uh, possible and uh, I've got uh, 8 giga of RAM and the processor is 2.3 gigahertz and it's an i7 e with uh, 500 mega megs uh, SSD in it. So here I've got uh, a little uh, movie, very simple, it's just an interview, one for the narrow shot and one for the wide shot, as you can see. Uh, it's uh, The whole project is uh, 11 minutes and 30 seconds. So you can see here that uh, in uh, quarter resolution, it's free, and you see a little bit of aliasing on the image, but not very much. You can use this um, uh, this resolution. In fact, uh, sometimes you have some drop on the sound. But here I've, I leave the project open a long time, so uh, you don't have any problem with the audio. But if you edit it for the first time, uh, you, you can have some problem with audio. Okay, uh, now I go at uh, half resolution. The, the image gets better. You can hear the processor because uh, it's more difficult for it. And you see that uh, the, you are using uh, all the power of the processor now. And uh, I'm not at 25 uh, images per second, uh, probably um, less, but very usable. For my business, I only use one um, uh, 1080 because that's all my work, so I don't need uh, 4K. Uh, timeline and you see that uh, you can move okay sometimes sometimes it, it, it goes very fast sometimes not so fast but you see at half resolution you really can edit with this Le, MacBook. A little bit longer à, when you stress the pros. Now I will change the, the row information, so click right and here you access to all the row parameters. You see red color tree and red gamma tree, so it's the last version of, of the red epic importer and uh, you can do what you want. And all the clips are changed in the timeline. If it's the same, it's a long tech interview, so I only have two raw files. 
And uh, if you only change the raw parameter on a little bit of the the file, you change on all all the file which are the same. Now I, I will apply um, a, a little uh, effect like uh, color correction, three-way color correction. Okay. You can see the color correction. You can see it. And uh, you can play it and change it. Donc, il est venu au sens que on pouvait finalement diminuer ces symptômes maniaques euh, par le blocage de la transmission de Because uh, on this Macintosh under system Lion, you got the acceleration Mercury. So it's uh, very, very usable and quite incredible to edit on this one year old laptop. Now uh, let's go to the PC. It's um, a very new PC with uh, 32 GB of RAM. It's uh, the biggest i7 processor and uh, the graphic card is an NVIDIA 670 and uh, I've made some change inside uh, Adobe to be able to use the graphic card and you see acceleration GPU Mercury here too. It's exactly the same project, I've made an XML export and then re-import all in the PC. The only thing I have, have been that I missed is the title, but uh, every other things are well uh, in it. So uh, with this uh, computer you can see I am uh, at full, full uh, quality for uh, a 1080 timeline and uh, I don't know how to make it uh, default because it's so powerful and easy and uh, it's uh, very very fast. I don't know how to how to show you uh, how to stress it enough. No crash. I, I can't crash it. So we are at full resolution, you see, it's an early uh, 25 images per second, uh, at half, of course, more easy. Great feature of Adobe CS6 is the new uh, the new way to to go inside the media. It's very very interesting. Just have to go here and you you like it. You take it and you put it in the timeline. Not more difficult than that. It's not the right size. Here's the right size. Okay. 
peut exercer plus facile euh, d'une part les antidépresseurs classiques finalement dans le incredible isn't it Okay, let's see um, how the processor is stressed. Here we are at half resolution. All the power of the plus. I'm at half resolution, now I am at full resolution. The movie is exactly the same on the PC and on the Macintosh. We will do an export. I check this box to use the same uh, format as uh, Adobe and it's an MPEG uh, 2 and it's very good for me. I don't need any more progress. I always check this checkbox and I have my master and I can read my master on Mac or on uh, Windows without any problem. I can compress it exactly the same as I did with ProRes. Now this is my new master format and uh, we'll do uh, test 3. And export. Okay. So the test uh, is uh, finished, and uh, here are the score for the PC and the movie of eleven thirty minutes. It took. 70 minutes to do the master, nearly uh, the time of the movie, 1.5 more, but uh, not more than 1.5 more. And on the Mac it was uh, slower, it was 32 minutes and uh, 40 seconds. But the processor of this one is of course more powerful than this one. That's it.